down and giving her obviously because it's a great opportunity. Are you all ready to get started? Yeah! All right, so we're going to so we can get started with training. So tonight we've been really lucky to, um, as a club, um, to have uh, Fremantle come down and uh, join in for our Auskick um, session, which um, incorporates our new team, uh, Starkick Kids, which is a team specifically put together for um, special needs children to be able to play football and enjoy the greatest game in the world. We all know what our favourite warm-up game is, don't we? What is it? Dodgeball, exactly. So we're going to get straight into it. The boys are going to line up down the side. They're going to be the. the now I have to warn them. No one has been knocked out in the first go. All right. Okay, guys. So you see how you go. Snark it came about just as an idea that um, we ran with as a club. So we had children in, within the club that um, that had a various levels of special needs, and they were already part of our club and a really important part of our club. But we um, we recognised there was a lot of other kids that never didn't have the opportunity to join in. Um, and so we thought we'd give it a go to put a team together. Um, we launched the concept in December last year and um, at this point in time we've got over 40 kids that come down on a Sunday morning alongside their peers and they um, join in next to their peers um, to play footy and um, enjoy part of being a community club. Not, not something segregated, something really uh, being part of community. We've got families that are, are travelling over 100 kilometres just to come each Sunday morning to, um, to have their, let their kids participate and play football. So there's a really shown a, a demand for this in the community and um, being that I guess we're the first club that's sort of taken this on, um, in time I'm sure other clubs will, will do the same and these people won't do this. We've got a family that move, uh, fly their child, not every week mind you, but fly their child from Newman and he's um, part of our team and he comes down every, um, every few weeks. So it's just a fantastic thing to be part of when people really want uh, their children to have an opportunity like this in the community. We wanted the parents to come down to our club and enjoy a Saturday or Sunday morning with their children playing sport like any other parent can do. So they come here, they have a coffee and they just get to, for five, for an hour or so of their weekend, sit back and watch their kids just have a bit of fun with other kids and um, speak to other parents um, within the club, within the group and just enjoy the weekend. Oh, good work. So our training's um, a little bit different. We, we concentrate everything around football. It's, it's, it's made basically the same concept. Normally we'd finish with a game as any Oz kick session would. We're a little bit, bit more liberal with all the rules that we have in uh, Star Kick. So some of the kids have, um, have various disabilities that prevails, prevents them from kicking or physical problems or so forth. We have people, kids that are blind and can't see. So we make sure that they can participate in our games, in our activities we do as a group. So that's our overall goal. We don't really care about the result as long as they're having fun and they're smiling at the end of the day. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's really awesome, you know, the kids are out there having a crack, enjoying footy and they just enjoy seeing us with the, with the purple shirt on. It's so easy for us to come down and put a smile on their face and just to see them having fun with the tackle bag or, or kicking the footy as well. So it's great to see and it really lifts you. Yeah, it's been an absolute privilege to have Fremantle come down to, um, to join, join in with our, with our club and our star kit group. Um, it, we know how hard it is for players to come out of in season to, um, to do things like this and as, as a community and to, the, the kids have been looking forward to this for so long, um, it's just been fantastic and um, we couldn't have asked for more from the Fremantle Footy Club. So guys, let's first of all, everybody thank the players for coming down and seeing Parliament.